And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Zed. Been excited about this one. We're going to be playing kind of an aggressive slanted mid-range deck. Um, there's going to be a Greenglade Elder deck. Y'all know that I really like Greenglade Elder. It's a real fun card to play. Three mana, three one. Whenever we summon it, grant all of our allies in hand plus one, plus one. So we'll be buffing up our different allies in hand. And uh, it's, of course, a perfect card to go along with Retreat, right? Like where you can um, play Elder and then Retreat, put it back in your hand, return it, put it back in play. And now all of your allies in hand have plus two, plus two. So we'll be buffing up our, our allies in hand with that. Then we'll have some elusives. We'll have Greenglade Duo and Shadow Assassin as elusives. But of course, if we can buff them up, they won't just have one health and be really easy to kill. So it'll be you know more difficult to kill. So that's always good. And then of course, we'll have Zed, buffing up Zed. That's you know very good for obvious reasons. Also having Inspiring Mentor as our other one drop to again go along with Zed um, with that, that plus one plus zero for the Zed. Uh, let's see. A couple more bounce, bounce spells with Homecoming to put Greenglade Elder back in our hand. And then we're going to have Vladimir. So we're going to be, like I said, we're going to have like make these larger elusives and, and stuff like that. Get some bigger Crimson Disciples um, and be attacking and pressuring their life total. But also buffing up Vladimir. So Vladimir gets like a couple of Greenglade Elders. You know, now we're looking at like a 7-7. Seven, seven. Maybe our allies survive damage a little easier because of the buffs from Greenglade Elder. You know, so if we leveled up, it's got regeneration. The thing is, like these two regions, especially Ionia, they don't really block very well. But Vladimir does. Vladimir is a really good blocker. And so that, that can uh, just help us win some races. But as far as attacking goes, whenever you attack with Vladimir, you know, deal one to all your, you know, to your units that you want to deal damage to the enemy nexus. But if we're playing a bunch of like aggressive stuff like this, a lot of these things have one health. So we need the Greenglade Elder to buff up the health so that then, you know, they don't die to Vladimir's ability. Um, but that, that, you know, pressures their nexus. And if the Vladimir is big, you know, like a 7-7, seven, seven, an 8-8, eight, eight, they usually just put in, like with Vladimir, when you play Vladimir, they usually just put like a really small blocker in front of the Vladimir because it doesn't have Overwhelm or anything like that. So that's why we're going to be playing Mites and even Kato, the cards that can help give a very big Vladimir Overwhelm and that we could get some surprise kills with that, with like a 10 power Overwhelm Vladimir, plus it's also draining their Nexus and we have some elusives, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what our deck's going to be doing. And, you know, obviously pressure on with Zed and, and things like that as well. The Inspiring Mentor slot, we'll see how good that does. Um, maybe that should be like Dancing Droplet. That is another good card to retreat, return. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't want to necessarily use it on Dancing Droplet, but that's that's another option. But it also would give us an elusive for like if Greenglade Elder is buffing up your elusives. Um but I don't know. I always like the Inspiring Mentor because, like, if we don't have Greenglade Elder, like round one Inspiring Mentor, put it on Zed, and like round three you play Zed as a four-two. Like you can steal some games with like four-two Zed immediately on round three. So that's why I'm gonna be playing the Mentor. Um, another option is the uh, Navori Blade Scout. This is another good elusive for you know like later on in the game. Like you you buff it up, you just save it in hand. You don't play it on round one, and then like you know, round six or seven or something, you're playing other stuff and playing these Blade Scouts as like big elusives to attack. So that's another option. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's play two underplayed champions with Vladimir and Zed. Put them together. Let's give it a try. We'll go play five games in ranked. Your Targon decks, your Draven Ezreal, that kind of stuff. Sometimes you just need a Captain Farron. So we got one of those in here. All right, so I like having the Zed. Homecoming seems pretty decent against Tom Kench, but I think I think I'm just gonna mulligan the four and five mana cards to start with. Yeah, Droplet could let us round to a Zed with if we have Droplet Retreat Return Zed. So maybe that should be Droplet over Inspiring Mentor. I'm not playing like Navori Conspirator, but maybe if we're playing Droplet, maybe that like has us go towards more Navori Conspirator also to like just get some more ways to bounce. So tough matchup to start with, right? Soraka Tom Kench does really good at blocking. They're a hush deck, right? Really, they play a whole bunch of hush, and they love to block. They love attack, you know, like things attacking. So this could be a, a difficult matchup. I'm waiting till round three to play the Elder to buff all these things up. Ah. How did you get to know so much about stars, Soraka? Well, it's a long story. I don't love Triple Zed. Starlight. Oh, I hit Take heart. I will teach you. Yeah. Alright, well. I'll get 
Let's rock out of there. I am the in the darkness. I will propagate and grind the appetite. Man, good hand. Both champions immediately. Please control us. Closer, friend. I am Shadow. So a tough matchup where they had a good solid hand. Curving out one, two, three, four. Double Soraka. Yeah, it's not good. There may be redemption for you yet. Hey, Kordak. Yeah, we are playing a good amount of one health units with Vladimir, but that's what our Green Glade elders are for. Matchup, good hand for them. Our work is not yet done. Lots of champions. What are these Targon Hush decks? Why are we playing against them? Harvey. Okay. Well. I mean, I guess Culling Strike can theoretically kill their two champions. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Yeah, that mobilitic side panels. You can you can use your cursor to hover over the different cards. You can read them when you're watching here on Twitch. Well, we had a zero percent chance of winning that game. We had no. There's no. There's no iterations of cards that allow us to win that game. That that we just had. It's not. Yeah, it just wasn't possible to win that game anymore. No attack token. This is pretty cool. This mirror match. This is the first time mirror match in with this board. It's my first time seeing this. So I'm, if I play Crimson Disciple first before attacking, they play Eye of the Dragon. Because our opponents always have the best card, right? So like we know they're going to have Eye of the Dragon. Which is why I kind of... like this. Eye of the Dragon was kind of the reason to keep the uh, Culling Strike, honestly. Hopefully this works. No Nopify. They have Nopify. That's really bad for me because then that uh, enables the Dragling. Alright, cool. The Retreat Return I shouldn't have kept. I'll admit that. I should not have kept that. Do I play Zed? What's the worst that can happen if I play Zed? They can cuss upon the Zed and then they have a blocker for this other stuff? Which isn't... Yeah, like, that forces them to have that. Alright, Cortex says develop. We're gonna develop. Looks like they're gonna go get Eye of the Dragon. So they'll have three mana with Eye of the Dragon, so they could have... Oh, Pale Cascade. Oh! Hit the wrong one. Love it. Fell Cascade doesn't save. That. I feel like that's a mistake in deck building. To have anything else with I with I the Dragon. Embrace the shadow. Yes, embrace the shadow. Our little dragon against their big monstrosity. So our side of the board, you get no fireballs. This side, you get fireballs. Or whatever those are. Meteors, I guess. Fireball meteors.
Guess I could have cast Might first. Would have made sense. Yeah, that probably would have made sense. Oh well, same thing, right? If I would have cast Might first, it's, this is the exact same thing. Because they would have stunned anyway. Let's put him to one. Put him to zero. Alright, GG's. That culling strike killing the Eye of the Dragon was big. We don't know if they had anything they could block, but if they did, they had to play that over Veil Temple. Alright, culling strike to kill Azir. So they only mulliganed one card, which probably means their hand's pretty good. Yay, Green Glade Elder. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Well, I guess I may have to just kill that thing. Do I have to save it for Azir? Or do I need to kill Green Glade Duo? I, d I just don't know how I'm dealing with the Duo. So maybe they don't have Azir. But I, I have nothing to deal with that Duo right now. This, you know, that's, that's a play that, depending on what happens... Could regret. That's a killer, because now this thing's a 4 4, right? Like, that's. That's a killer. I got to play four units this round for three mana. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so round three, even after using a removal spell, we're still at 15. Or we're still at five, to, took 15 damage. Does seem like a pretty fair and balanced <laughs> game. So why not trade with the 2 1? Because. I kind of need to keep this to keep those sparring students in check. <laughs> right, like the, the Zed could theoretically still block the 2 1. Dissident. But the, the sparring students need to keep them in check. Plus, the other thing is by keeping, by keeping Green Glade Elder alive, me having Homecoming, you know, I get to block. I could block one with uh, Green, Green Glade Elder, then Homecoming. Do not see what is. See what will be. Wonderful hand. Good game. Good game. Alright, well, GG's. Alright, hopefully we can be fast enough. Hit hard enough. Okay. So this is a good hand. So far, perfect. Shadow Assassin's very good. Give me an elusive attacker. Wasting all their mana. They're out there. I'll spot them. No ice shard. Come on, let it happen. Which I know I could do that next round, but I don't know. I just felt like like letting them have all their mana and then try it. I didn't love that idea. Crab, I 
saw today. Do not fear the shrouded path. So I would have buffed up Kato one time if I would have waited. You gotta assume that they have like avalanches. Right? And so like that's that's the thing, is like you know, like that's the great part of Green Clay Duo here is it gets these things larger than Avalanche. But they probably have Avalanche, Blighter Ravine, that kind of stuff. Gonna have Withering Whale. The box? Ugh. That's not as good. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. All right, Crimson Disciple punishes those kind of those kind of cards again. I guess I'm just attacking before they kill the Zen, but if they're gonna Withering Whale, that's certainly possible. I should probably develop. So crowd favorite right now, we get plus four, it would be an eight, seven. Yeah, that's that seems like that's worth playing. Yeah, Zed's gonna die. But if they if they use like removal on Zed, then they probably don't like they kind of assume they have like you cannot fight. they have like harsh winds, right? Like because if it's if it's withering whale, then they're taking a good amount of damage from this thing. It is withering whale. I mean, I guess that's yeah, I guess that's the best thing they could have. Yeah, I guess that was the best card they could have. Okay. So that was the other problem with playing the four drop is now I don't get to go four plus three, so we're gonna have to have just just a five. Take the chill off. Mm. Kneel before me. Never seen the new level up animations. They're they're really cool. We had we had it with Zed earlier. Obviously not this game, but we had it earlier. So next round is round eight. I know I'm not say I'm not saving this for Lissandra. Maybe they have a Lissandra, but you know, like we're putting pressure on their life total right now, getting rid of the blocker. So if I play Kato or Zed or anything like that, they get to just play Ice Pillar. But they could also have Ruination, right? And Ruination usually is bad news. Let's see. If we attack like this. But let's see, if, if they have Ruination, if I go Kato, they Ruination, then I play Zed, then I'm hitting him for six, putting him down to two, and it forces them to have Ruination, right? Because if they don't have Ruination, they're pretty much dead. You think open sounds better? Because if I open, they, they Vengeance, like the crowd favorite, they block here, they're only taking four. I'm gonna make them have ruination. I'm gonna make them have it. Gosh, they'd had it. Yeah, they had it. Play on. Cause it, you know, just the the opportunity to win the game, right? Like it's it's not like that only gives me like a good attack by playing that. And like if we open attack, you know, it's not like, right, like, I'm I'm threatening just winning the game completely if they don't have Ruination. So it's not like I'm just trying to get a better attack and that an open attack, you know, like, it's... There's nothing more powerful than winning the game. That's obviously the... So. Uh, I think I... Let's take this outside. 
These boxes are killing me. It is me! So they have the ruination. Do not embarrass me, troll. So certainly maybe just, you know, like a you know, attacking, but it's it was a risk. I went for winning the game. They look angry. Why not recall Lissandra? Because they, they could have just replayed Lissandra. They had three mana, they would just replay Lissandra and then just get another Frozen Thrall. Like that one, it would it would be an eight eight this round, right? Like that that one that I recalled would be an eight eight this round. Eight eights aren't good for me. It is crazy how much Lissandra does for a three mana champion, right? Like it gets it's a really good body, and it gets you the frozen they're all, and it gets you the watcher, and then it also has the ice shards. It it does kind of everything. <laughs> Talked about that before, where I would I would kind of make this watcher just make it like an eleven eleven, maybe even with like overwhelm, right? Just make it a bigger thrall, because we are talking about you know a three mana champion that already creates and generates all this value, does it really need to have a card that also just wins the game on the spot when you play it? And maybe not. Yeah, I mean, I think that, that could make sense of just, <laughs> like somebody says, just, you just elim you should just eliminate the Watcher because Lissandra does a whole, like enough on her own for a three mana champion. And, and you're not wrong comparing Lissandra to other three mana champions. Cause he ain't, and you get the Nexus Toph. Yeah, and it creates a free spell that's really impactful. That's what else? Vladimir's ability doesn't do anything anymore. What would you wish to learn? If I just attack, I don't kill them. Because I only do three damage to them. So I don't have much of an out, but my best out, I think, is my opponent play. Like, they would have to really mess up to lose this game. I kind of need them. 
That's what I need them to play that that ice shard. They could still mess up if they just cast this ice shard. I have my orders. Okay. Come on, play it. It gives me an out if they play it. All right, we're right. Because before, if they don't play this, I have no chance of winning. By playing it, I have a chance of winning now. Now, obviously, if any of these three cards deal with the Captain Farron, I don't win. But it gives me a chance. Right, because now this is five. Now this is enough overwhelm to kill them. So it looks like this... Looks like we won't kill them, but... <clears throat> yeah, Grasp also. So we had a, we had a chance with them making that... So they just had three Withering Whales and Grass the Undying and Ruination at the you know the Ruination at the perfect time, where they they died if they didn't have Ruination and triple Withering Whale. So this is the same opponent that we had earlier. Gotta hope it's not the same hand they had earlier, because that hand they had earlier was ridiculous. They tacked. They dealt 15 damage to me by round 3 after I killed the Greenglade duo. They still dealt 15 damage to me on round 3. That was ridiculous. Am I not... Maybe I'm just not setting up Greenglade Elder this this game. No, it's, it's my best strategy. champion. And, you know, I guess we'll just trade 3-1 and 2-1. Alright, so we got 5-3 Zen. If we didn't have the attack token this round, you know, I'd be going, like, Green Glade Duo and setting that up, but we have the attack token, so... Really hope they don't have Homecoming this time. So, if I attack out with everything, you know, they could have, like, their 2-2-1s two, two trade with my 3-2 and 3-1. Then they have to have, like, Dancing Droplets block these five threes. I don't know if that's necessarily like a, a plus. Green Blade duos. And I'm just gonna be open attacking anyway. Like if I play Crimson Disciple, it gives them a good block on the Blossoming Blade, and I don't, I don't really like that. So I'm, I'm just gonna be open attacking anyway because you know the Zed put something in, so we have our six attackers.
Zed's not leveled up. If I might Zed, it doesn't copy over to the Living Shadow. Like, the Overwhelm doesn't. The body would, but the Overwhelm wouldn't. That's my cue. Where are you going? Listen up. So just three cards over there. All right, so this would put him seven, 17. So Might does eight damage on the five three. I think I have to do that. I think we gotta do that. Would be good against a champion, especially Azir. Or a Green Glade duo. Crimson Disciple's kind of interesting here, though. They buffed up the Blossoming Blade. Blossoming, Bl Blossoming, ugh. Blossoming Blade doesn't die to Culling Strike now. Sure, they buff that up. All right, cool. Got him. Good win. They would all learn to feel my order. All right, this deck honestly felt pretty good. Like Zed with Greenglade Elder and all this other stuff was pretty sweet. You know, like we we did play against one um, Aurelia Zero opponent that just had an absolute ridiculous hand. And yeah, they they won that. Like that's the hand that they had is is beating almost everybody in, in any matchup. So okay, GG's. And then we did play against the uh, Trundle Lissandra where they had to have um, Ruination, and they did. And that's that's a deck that usually plays one Ruination. Some people play two, but usually just one. But they had to have it. They had it. And then even after that, then they had to have more Nexus Healing, and they had all three copies of Withering Whale, right? Because like our decimates were going to kill them, but they had. Um, you know, all three withering whales. So, you know, GG's there. Um, but you know that, especially that one, could have easily gone the other way. And then we're looking at a three and two, if that one goes the other way. Um, but you know, like there's a lot of like between the ones and twos, there's a lot of different cards to play as we talked about. Inspire Mentor was pretty good, right? Like putting like that extra uh, power on Zed was pretty sweet. You know, having like five power Zeds and four power Zeds and stuff like that. But again, I could definitely see it being a something else. Um, I don't think we're too much of a sparring student deck, um, but we did talk about Blade Scout and uh, Dancing Droplet being cards that have Elusive that would also be good to buff up. But um, Loved Culling Strike. It was very good. Crowd Favorite honestly looked good. Uh, you know, really big Overwhelm card. That one looked good. So yeah, maybe just a, a different Vladimir deck that, that you know, is not... Not one that too many people play, but I just wanted to kind of show off uh, Greenglade Elder Retreat Return in an aggressive deck. Thought it looked good. All right, so there we go. So that's Vladimir Zed. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Um, you know, if you want something different, you want to play a Vladimir deck, give it a try. And you know, you you can always tinker around with some different cards if you have some other cards that you really like uh, that you want to play over like Inspire Mentor. You know, go ahead. All right, but that's it here for Vladimir Zed. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.